Evan boy, how are you today? Hey Kilo, hey Askaroth. <laughs> Space, the final cringe, where dreams are real and a shining sun bathing us in sus energy. You got that right. Thank you so much for the hydrate redeem. Sorry I didn't respond immediately. I'm actually in the process of announcing on Discord and Twitter that I'm even live. I do apologize for being a bit late tonight, but thank you so much to everyone for showing up today. We're going to be finishing Citizen Sleeper, or at least I'm assuming we're going to be finishing Citizen Sleeper. I can't imagine that there is much left of this game, but um, if we do manage to finish, we're going to go either do some just chatting streaming or we're going to go find something else to do tonight. So look forward to that. We'll be ready in just a second. Beat Saber Battles versus Stream? <laughs> I'll think about it. I have not streamed um, my uh, virtual reality in a long time, much less with dual PC streaming. So it might be a mess to set up tonight, but we can work out a collab in the future, possibly. If you're interested in that, uh, Vimboy. Awesome. Hey, yo. Yeah, I mean, you've been begging to... You've been asking to collab for a long time, haven't you? Since you're coming back to VTubing at last, I would be more than happy to. Also, it's been several months, so, you know, I kind of, uh... Gone, to, gone used to you already? Yes. We've known each other for a while. Which is pretty pog. You're actually... You're, like, one of the first uh, VTubers that I kind of befriended here on... In the uh, VTubing space. What's weird is I don't even remember how we started getting like talking with each other and whatever because at first I think I remember when you first started you were a lot bigger than I was at the time still kind of are um so I don't even remember how I got noticed notice me senpai <laughs> or, so sh or some shit like that but I digress 
Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Let me just do some audio bouncing really quick here. You might have been raided into me by a friend. That's all. That's also a possibility. It's surprising how many people we befriend uh, in the VTubing community through raids. I hope raids remain a thing far into the future. For that reason. What I always feel like... It always feels like... One second. Test, 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 test. I always feel like my lip syncing is off. I don't know why. Even when it really isn't. Like right now, it's not. Friendship is such a wonderful thing. It can spawn from everywhere. That's very true. That's very true. <laughs> I still can't believe that it's going to be a year soon for a year of YouTubing. A lot of people didn't think that I would make it past the first few months. And I can't blame them. YouTubing is kind of a hard, kind of hard to keep up. A lot of the people I started with have either since quit or have are still currently in hiatus. Mika, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm great. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the show. <laughs> you can turn up the mic sensitivity as well and set delay in OBS to make it look more crisp. Um, hmm. I think also it might have to do because I'm using the hybrid lip sync instead of just using the audio based one. Because the audio based, the uh, hybrid one looks better, but the audio based one is a lot more quote unquote accurate just because it's only activates only when it hears something you use hybrid too yeah <laughs> and i don't know what's this do steam below lily no oh, it makes me black and white <laughs> i got a lot of new redeems since the last time we were here mecca so feel free to if you have some redeems stored up be feel free to use and abuse them. Also, feel free to contribute to the uh, a blue chip challenge, which is basically a challenge to make me eat one of those super spicy uh, one chip challenge chips on stream, if you so prefer. <laughs> Let me see here. Audio lip sync, hybrid lip sync, mouth tracking, reset pose, drift back to normal, enable VRM spoon, spring wind. I wonder what happens if I remove the cap frame rate button. Oh, I can't actually remove that. Okay, we'll keep that there. It's the I can't bottom for a weak chip. <laughs> I mean, I you could bot them for a week. It's just going to it's just going to uh it's going to give a whole new meaning to fire crotch for whoever is topping. Let's see what we got here. Use old lip sync model lower accuracy. Well, let's not do that. Disable increased background priority. No. Use viewer style shade coloring. That's kind of pointless since I'm using VTuber Plus. It could also just be VTuber Plus because you know I used to just use uh, VC Face itself, which by itself doesn't have that doesn't have that much in the way of processor usage. But it's no big deal. Let's go ahead and finish Citizen Sleeper, and then move on to newer things. We'll probably will return to this game sometime in the future when the other episodes get released. But in the meanwhile, we're nearing the end. And I hope for those of you who have been watching Citizen Sleeper since the beginning have enjoyed this ride. This will be yet another completed game on our list. <laughs> oh, thank you very much for the thing to eat. Um, nom 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 nom. <laughs> so here is a ah. Oh no! Oh no! 
I have turned low res. I could already feel myself fading back. I'm seeing superstars, time limits, and arcade machines. I feel a little bit fruity. <laughs> oh, hey, I think uh, reducing my actual resolution has reduced the... has increased the frame rate on my arms. Ah! I've begun. I've be, I've gone beyond low res. All right. So, as I was saying, we kind of have a situation here. As you can see, I have two other. I have two other drives here. Enter the greenway. And fixing the amber grease. There's only one problem. This mission over here, escape the side reel, side reel, whatever you, however you pronounce it. Has a time limit. If I don't finish this quest in eight days. The side rail will leave, and I will fail it. Man, I f could fund the entire chip challenge if there wasn't a limit. I know, right? Unfortunately, I can't control the limit. The limit's set in place by Twitch, I guess. You can only ever give 2,000 per stream. I'm presuming that's intentional, so that these uh, challenges don't get finished too quickly. But still... So, it looks like we will need to, we will need to focus on this one anyway, see what will happen. I can't imagine that the game has been decoded in such a way that it will actually lock out the rest of the quests and send you off on your way, because that seems a little, you know, mean, but I guess I can't put it past them either. See is here if you cooperate if it says here I need to steal the Celis data however it's been a since uh, the last time we played I actually don't remember where we're supposed to go next I can only imagine that oh here it is the Celis ship so we'll need to infiltrate the ship and steal data because we should be able to do that fairly fast. All things considered. And just like that, we're already almost all the way there, chat. I kind of want to save this, uh, this six for something, but it's probably better if I just go ahead and use it. Get this over with. Oh man. If we're lucky, we will not get a negative outcome. We made it. Just like that. <laughs> now we need to secure data to the servers, however. I do not have any more dice, so we're going to have to go to bed for the evening. For now. I'm still wondering if do we, if feeding the stray does anything besides let me letting me pet it. There's nothing to indicate otherwise. We have decent dice this time too. Three, two, and a six. Going to be forced to use the perfect again. 
We've managed to grab the data. At least that's what it says. I just realized that there is a smiley face on this ship. Askaroth has contributed 2,000 total to consume the blue chip challenge. Thank you so much for your contribution, Askaroth. Uh, it looks like we're at 18,000 out of 66, I believe. Is that what, how much it is? Let me see here. Yep. 19,334 19, out of 66666. Thank you so much, Mika, for your contribution. <laughs> Glorious. We're well, we're pretty much a third of the way there, chap. Okay. So this is done, but what do I do now then? I will have to look around. I'm assuming that. Ah, here we go. Let's talk to Caster really quick. When you arrive at Lemon Minas Unit, Caster is already waiting outside, leaning beside the door. Forgive me, Sleeper, but Celis is already buzzing with news of the breach. I was expecting you. Will this work? Don't worry, the breach cannot be traced to the specific IDs I'm about to create. Caster reaches into a pocket and produces a sleek green and white hand terminal. The data, please. What is that? Something I acquired from Celis while you were busy on that ship. Caster pushes up his glasses. I've been waiting for you the entire time. You hand over a drive with the data and Caster fishes around for a converter cable to hook it up. He slots it into the terminal and after some worrying, a set of two transparent films marked with numeric sequences are produced. Two tickets to an uncertain future, Caster smiles to himself. The child will go with Lem, of course. He pockets them. These are yours, but first, he holds out a white cube, your side of the deal. What is it? Something to help us make use of you. He passes you the square and you rest it in your palm, a small, white, perfect cube. Suddenly you feel a sharp pain and a flinch. The cube jumps from your hand and rattles along the walkway. You look at Caster apologetically. Caster smiles. Not to worry. It has done its job. Now it is for you to do yours. You look down and see a tiny pinprick in the center of your palm. Nothing sinister. Caster puts the terminal away. This way we can keep track of you and the side rail horizon. Whatever you need to do. Excellent. Caster hands you the transparent films, and you see shimmering portraits of you and Lem flickering beneath the surface. Go. Give them the good news. And he reaches across and buzzes the unit. Lem slides open the door, half-dressed in his gear. Sleeper, what brings you here? Come in. He beckons you inside. You look to the side, expecting to see Caster, but the wall is empty. The unit is clear, better organized than last time. Lem sits at a thin bar and gushes for you to sit. He knows with some of the local kids. Someone has started doing lessons down the way. She seems to like it. Sit. Sit at the bar. What's up, sleeper? Play for time. You look around the unit. You look at Lem. He looks better, softer, more full of life. It's as if a weight has been lifted off from his shoulders. You think of Mina a few minutes down, learning with the other children. You falter. Is the side real horizon better than this? Lem starts to look a little nervous. You in trouble? Debt? Fuck! I didn't expect the game to throw yet another curveball. Now you get to decide at the last minute whether or not to actually tell them about the ship so they can go off on this uh, journey. I really wish this game would let you make multiple saves. Because otherwise, to learn what the other choices, other events would have been, you would have had to replay this entire game again. And as much as I love this game, I've been playing this for over 16, po 16 and a half hours. A whole point of like visual novels and stuff is you have multiple saves so you can go back in different points of time and see different endings. 
well. I spent all this time working to get them all onto that ship so they can have a better, hopefully better life than on the station. So we might as well, you know. You have Lombrizis, how? He blinks rapidly as if to wipe you from his vision. Does that mean... Yep. Lem stands up and paces around a unit. We have to pack. He starts laughing. Holy shit, we have to pack! He turns back to you, smiling. How the hell did you swing the sleeper? A friend helped. Well, thank you, friend. You show him the ID films and he whistles at the portraits. Impressive stuff. He pats you on the shoulder. You should stay until Mina gets home. We can tell her together. Sure. The buzzer goes. That'll be her. Lem gets up and opens the door, and Mina, a bundle of energy and life, rushes into the room. Robot! She shouts. Lem picks her up. Mina, you won't believe what they brought us. You flash her the passes, and she looks confused. We are going away after all, Mimi. He lifts her up above her head. On a big, beautiful ship. Mina screams, and Lem laughs. He puts Mina down, and she runs over to you and hugs your legs. I love you, robot! She says quietly, so only you can hear. Love you too. And a while later, when you leave, you don't even think to check for Caster by a door until it's too late. You stop and turn, halfway down the walkway, but there's nothing there. Even that little white cube is gone. So you keep walking, back through the low end, deep in thought, excited and scared all at once. The running game. I got another achievement, chap. Wait for preparations to be completed, it says. What preparations? Do I still have time to finish everything else, I wonder? Let's check, chat. Yeah. We have eight turns. Eight turns to finish everything else in this game before we gotta go. But can we do it, chat? Well, let's try and fix the ambergris before we leave, I suppose. I guess we'll be starting on the hull. Let's see if I can get better rolls. Oh, what a awesome, what an epic roll there that was. What's this one? Ship shape or cycle and ship shape. So I fix this, they're going to repair him per cycle. As opposed to... But this is an instant win anyway, so if I do this here... It should be done fairly soon. I think we can manage with three dice rolls, chat, maybe. Maybe. Then again, I got plenty of stabilizers, so maybe I should go ahead and stabilize myself anyway. I really wish I had scrap. So I can just repair myself. Or that I can just buy scrap. But the rotunda is currently empty. There's no one here either. There's no place I can just buy scrap. Actually, no, there isn't. Because I would have had to use dice there too, huh? We got plenty, we still got some decent amount of time, so maybe we'll be able to complete these quests before we run out of time? No idea. Those two dice make a whole lot of difference, you know? Man. I would have thought that actually getting a decent night's sleep would have helped a lot as far as my, like, energy levels go for stream, right? Is it really... And I hope, really hope it's just my imagination. I think it's my imagination anyway. Alright. Let's see how much further we can go here.
50 50. Such a low roll, but this is a perfect roll. Damn it. All right, we still managed to do it. Cool. Ankita is crouched in the computing core of the Ambergris, swearing to herself when you enter. He doesn't look up. These shits completely ruin the core's connectors when they cut it. She holds up a thick fistful of ragged wires. The ship mine they ripped won't even be usable without replacing these. She throws the bundle of wires across the room. Amateurs. Can we repair it? There's nothing to repair. We need an entire ship mine. Not exactly the first thing you can expect to dredge up from a scrap freighter. She sighs. Fragments, maybe. Sections of a mine, but a complete ship mine? No way. Ankita climbs out of the cooling well where the ship mine should be. The space suddenly crowded with her on the same level as you. Towering over you as she stomps beneath the low curved ceiling. Come on. Nothing to be done here now. She leads you back through the guts of the amber, though you could find a way back yourself. The repair process has left you familiar with the cutters into your syncretic layout. All diagonal angles and bundle tubes. What do we do now? Ankita seems lost in thought, and you focus on the corridors, stucking below conduits and passing through bulkheads. Eventually, you arrive in the galley, though it's hard to tell. Most of the benches and prep surfaces are covered in half-stripped components and welded hull patches. Ankita shoves a box of filters to the floor and sits. There's no way around it. She starts out nowhere. We need a new ship mine. I can salvage one. I like your confidence, sleeper. Maybe if we check the ore exchange or speak to some scrap dealers. She rubs her forehead. It seems like I'm about to do something very stupid, but hey, I came here, didn't I? Why not make a run of it? She fixes you with a hard stare. Sleeper, you're all I got. No crew, no friends, you're it. Looks uncomfortable. I appreciate the time you put in on the amber, and I'm sure she would too if she could. What I'm saying is, if you screw me on this, I will kill you. She leans over and hands you a, ch a stack of chits. Big stack of chits. You don't dare to count them. Get me that ship, mine, sleeper. Don't make me regret this. You won't. She sighs. Look, just get out of here before I change my mind. You slip out of the galley and head back towards the main lock. As you do, Amber growls and creaks like a caged animal. You reach a hand out to calm her. Time to find Ankita a ship mine. Somehow. She just gives me a whole bunch of money. And I have two ship mines to give her. And we're done. Okay. Drive complete. You drop the ship mine core into the galley table with an emphatic bang. And Kita spins around from where she's been pouring over some documents on her slate. Holy shit, sleeper. Did you actually land a ship mine? I got like three. <laughs> she rushes over and hefts the huge cylinder, turning it back and forth. Well, shit. It might actually work. She smiles wider than you've ever seen. Where'd you get it? I built it. Built it? Well, well, you are full of surprises. And Kita banks on the galley wall. Hear that, Amber? The sleeper got you a new ship mind. The sound echoes down the ship's passages. You have to admit, being in a small space with Ankita when she's this excited is a little intimidating. Ankita puts the ship mind back on the table. I'll start the process of fitting it as soon as I can. I might need your help with some of it. She heads back towards the counter to grab her slate. This isn't the only good news today, either. Looks like my good karma is finally coming in. She throws the slate onto the table and spins it so you can see the screen. Take a look at this. You see a list of names and numbers, nothing that exciting. Along with what looks like a transit timetable, I found them. The thieves? Exactly. Well, the thief, singular. He points at a name on the list, or more specifically, Ashton Kaede. It was his past that was used to access Amber and slice the ship mind. I thought he might have been killed or robbed, his past stolen, but it turns out he crossed the Founders Gap the very next cycle. How do you know? I know some of the crew over at that ferry, Old Mercs, used to run in an outfit I worked with. I saw them in the Overlook and they mentioned they saw Ashton crossing. Checked the manifest and there he was. Looks suspicious. He hasn't said a word since the theft and anyone wanting to hide out might head to the Greenway and go to the ground. She flexes. He won't get far though. There's no real docks out there. Only a couple of jetties in the waist. Going after him? Not yet. First I want to fix the ship mind. Fit the ship mind. He pauses. But, maybe you could help me out. Sure, how? It's like this. Head over there. I head over there, especially in the amber. He'll spot me a mile off and go underground. 
to find a way to slip the station or he'll bury himself so deep in the waste no one will ever find him. But you, Ash doesn't, Ash doesn't know you. All I need is for you to go there and sniff around. Not the commune, not the stacks. You'll have gone to the edges, the margins, the wild places. That's what Ashton likes. You see him? You locate him? Ping me on this. She hands you a calm earpiece. Seeing as this is merc work, I'll be happy to give you merc pay. She shifts in her seat. The thing is, I haven't got much left. So how about I tell the boys who run the ferry to give you a discount? I know it's not much, but once I grab this carrot, I'll pay up. 200 cryo, nothing less. What do you say? She meets your eye. Okay. He gives you a heavy whack on the shoulder. Good, I owe you. She lifts the ship mine up onto her shoulder with worrying ease. I'm going to get go get this fit into Amber's core. You get any info? Any sense of where Ashton's hiding? Let me know. She goes to turn and then stops. And once again, sleeper, thank you. I appreciate it. And Kita stumps off, stumps off into the guts of Amber with the ship mine, leaving you in the galley. You glance around, a sudden nervous energy descending on what is what to come. You never thought you'd get to work as a mercenary. But then again, it seems the eye is full of surprises. Got a new drive. And Kita wants you to help her locate the crew member who betrayed her, Ashton Kaide. Well, let's see where we can go. That. I actually don't know where the first part we would search for that. The wild margins. We might have to end up using end up using our stabilizer anyway, I guess. Good thing we have a bunch left. We'll also make more later, I suppose. We are starving, chat. Almost immediately, we'll have to use some of this on ourselves, unfortunately, on the farm stacks. We are no longer starving, chat. This might take a while, unfortunately. Ah, uh, these are horrible rolls. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, these are fucking horrible. Rico has agreed to take care of our plant. Unfortunately, it's going to take eight rounds to even finish that. So... I'm afraid it's not going to get very far. Maybe if I had put it there earlier, it would have gotten, that far, gotten farther, but it's not looking good. We should have put them in predictive reasoning, I suppose. Would have been able to finish this a lot sooner. Even with plus two, our dice rolls are dangerous, it seems. Ah, we're getting fairly close. We should be able to finish this tomorrow, I suppose. dice rolls. Looks like we found Ashton. Or have we? The trail ahead extends deep into an overgrown section of the Greenway. At this far end of the ring, where the long, lazy curve of the Greenway becomes the shared landscape of the waste, things are oddly quiet. 
Ahead stands a vast farm stack, broken from its axis by rust or force, and lying amongst the overgrown landscape like an ancient temple. It is stained with moss and algae, flows of green running out from its broken tanks like a frozen brackish tide. This is where Ashen's hiding, you're pretty sure. All your intuition points to the shadows beneath this collapsed superstructure. You roll the calm headset Ankita give you in your palm. Call Ankita. You slip the headset into your ear and it fizzes with static. After a few moments, you hear Ankita. Sleeper, have you did it? Locate the target. Adapt enters your mind. Can you be sure he is there? No, hold. A confused silence at the end. Maybe it's better you confirm that Ashton is there before you call an Ankita. Remove headset. You put the headset back in your pocket. Not yet. You need confirmation. You survey the route ahead. There is a direct route, a line of broken pillars that take you into the center of the structure. Or you could skirt around the pillars, keeping to cover the raised pine of the greenway and work your way around. It'll take longer, but it is better concealed. Skirt around. You decide on a long route and head off towards the central spine. It is slow going there, where the overgrowth meets the metal wall, but it is so concealed that you can barely see the glass roof high above. You follow the wall, knowing it will lead you to the edge of the collapsed stack. For the final part of the journey, you have to work your way through the dense undergrowth, pushing aside branches and fronds. It is exhausting, and you stop on a small rise to, the, to rest. It has been hours since you began. You desperately hope Ashton hasn't moved on. Just ahead, a soft glow is coming from somewhere within the farmer's stack. A crow light, still on after all these years, perhaps? You take a longer, little longer to rest than push on. You follow the faint glow of the stack. You find a broken tank and step through the opening, trying to avoid broken glass that sits among the moss and algae. You wake away. You work your way up the sand tank, carefully, quietly. Somewhere, water drips, and you hear, it's where you hear bird song. Hanging plants catch the light, coating the place in a pale and sickly green. As you reach the edge of the tank, you hear something, an echoing hiss like a hydraulic piston. You quickly move up to where the tank opens into the central drum and look over the edge. The vast drum is like a cistern, with plants growing on all sides and wet mossy islands at its base. It is beautiful, and for a moment you can't see anything but tones of green. Then you see the sleeper. In a faint circle of light, descending down through the drum, the sleeper lies slumped at an odd angle. They are surrounded by crates, and beside them, on one of the mossy islands, there is an object. A cylinder sent on a tarp. It is connected to the sleeper's head. You flinch. Are they one of the others? One of the ones that escaped with you? You squint, trying to recognize them. They are twisted, broken, open, wrong. You look away. Wait. You wait. Unsure what to do, your eyes fix on the broken sleeper at the center of the drum. On the connection between them and the ship mind. You think of what might be passing through a connection. Thoughts? Memories? Or just data? You hear a sound, a quiet hiss, then soft footsteps. Below you, Ankita enters, her sidearm in hand. She must have followed the signal from the headset. Has she been spying on you? You watch her step onto one of the mossy islands, the water around dip rippling as she does. The gunshot breaks the silence, blanking out all noise. It hits Ankita's shoulder piece, the ceramic armor crackling but holding as she braces into an impact. Then she launches herself forward, the now activated armor launching her across the drum. Another shot goes wide before she reaches to cover the crates beside the sleeper. Shit! You hear the shout from one of the tanks high on the far wall. Ankita reaches over and wraps a hand around the thick connection between the ship mine and the sleeper. What is she doing? You better come down here or I'll rip this right out of their head, she screams at the wall of tanks. You shiver at the suggestion. Ankita, stop! Ankita flinches, but she doesn't take her eyes from Ashton. Quiet, sleeper! Ankita shouts. A shot rips to the moss beside you, filling your vision with green. The shooter must be somewhere on the other side of the tank. Do that again and I will swear to god I'll tear their head off! Ankita shouts to them. Sleeper, you stay down! There's a long pause. All you can hear is the dripping of the water running down the walls of the drum. Then Ashton calls out. Coming down, Ankita. Don't do anything stupid, for God's sake. He appears at the far side of the drum, stepping through the shallow white water, rifle raised above his head. 
Drop the gun, Ankita shouts. He throws it down onto the moss. As you lean out to watch, you see him catch, his, uh, catch your eye, clocking your presence. What are you up to here, Ashton, you sicko? She stands, keeping her sidearm train on his head. You ripped my ship mine for what? Some freakish experiment? Ashton approaches with shaking hands, his eyes now fixed on the connection, connecting bundle of wires that Ankita still has hold of. Steady, Ankita, it isn't like that. I needed a ship mine. You have to understand, they would have died without it. Oh. This must be the end must be the sleeper that um, Rika told us that Rika told us about earlier in the game. What are you talking about? I don't give a shit why you ripped my ship mine and crippled my ship. I should put you down right now. She tightens her grip on the connection. Typical of you, Ankita. No, no curiosity. Ashen smiles shakily. That's why I never asked for it, for your help. You only look for yourself. You only look after yourself. He nods at you. A sleeper up there. They are just bait, right? To draw me out. Ankita sucks a breath in. Are you trying to give me more reasons to shoot you? I love them, Ankita. Ashen looks at the crumpled sleeper. I love them and they were going to die. I knew you would never understand that. He starts closing the gap between himself and Ankita now, slowly inching forward. Don't do that, Ashton. Ankita snarls. Don't do that. Let the wires go, Ankita. Let us go. If you don't get out of, out of my way... He inches closer. Please. I can't let you take it, Ashton. Ankita harms her stare. You stole it from me. You left me for dead. She shakes her head. You think I'm going to trust you? After all that? I need it, Ankita. I need them to survive. Ashton is in reach of the sleeper now, of Ankita. I'm going to take them now, Ankita. He raises a hand. I'm going to take the ship mine and go. Ankita loses her grip on the connection a little. Her hand is shaking now. Stop, Ashton! She lowers the gun a little. Stop! Seeing her drop her guard, he makes his move. A blur of movement, a struggle, a shot. Another, another. You recoil back behind the edge as they ricochet around the inside of the drum, the sand deafening you. When you crawl back to the edge, Ashton is bleeding into the water, the red and the green. Ankita is standing at the center of the drum, the severed connection in her hand. The water drips endlessly. Drip after drip after drip. You force yourself to look at the broken sleeper. There is no sign of life, of humanity. They are just another broken object among other broken objects, while all around living things grow and thrive. Ankita finally looks back at you, tears in her eyes. She begins to say something, something that might be sorry, but you are already gone. That just happened. It doesn't say I failed the mission either, so... I don't know. That was kind of fucked up. I'm not going to lie. Nothing I could do about that, I guess, but... That's sad. Really sad. Sometimes shit like that just happens, I guess. We barely get to figure out who Ankita to learn about um, what Ankita is like as a person too, because they died a little too quickly for that to happen. Shit sucks, man. Shit just fucking sucks. Stabilizer acquired, but a long journey ahead. 
It's a shame I don't can't find anything to use these Matsutake caps for. At least as far as I know. Where's Ankita now, anyway? Perhaps more importantly, I need food. She doesn't seem to be available to talk to you, though, as far as I can tell. Where the hell is Ankita now? Did she disappear? Here's the Amber Grease. Ankita is away. Amber is docked here at a rickety old jetty, but she's sealed up. The note says, sleep or stay. I'll be ready soon. In a couple days, you mean. She done fucked up. Is she done fucked up though? Unironically. Very sad. In around three days, Sadriel is going to be ready to leave. Let's make sure that we're not missing it. Okay. And there aren't really any other missions here except for plant the seed and let it grow, find Ashton, but that's already dead. I don't think I could even buy any more stabilizer because. Hmm. I can export this though. I'm a rich person now. I'm pretty rich now. Remarkably so. And I could buy some scrap from here. So I could just repair myself if I need to. In fact, I could. Just like that. You could tell this is endgame, chat. I made another ship mind. The inability to use this leftover Gerola caps, though, seems like a oversight. So I can't just make new food with it either. 
which is unfortunate. Honestly, I don't even need to know what to use my dice rolls for at this point. Like, literally, what do you use it for, right? Can't extract more data from Celis. I guess I could buy a ship my fragment from here, but what's the point? Just about everything is done. It's a shame that the ship one was timed because otherwise I would have liked to have finished the uh, Rico's Robeds mission at least. There's not really anything else left to do except to gather scrap components. Which I could then use to you know heal myself a little bit. <laughs> Keep myself in tip top shape. Like, just constantly. Definitely not gonna use it on that. I guess we're going to be doing something else tonight after all. Starving again? Damn it. Feeding ourselves yet again. Yeah, there's literally nothing. Nothing I can do. Because that's just how it is sometimes, right? Now I can make literal. I have literally so much scrap that I can't even use it all. Go to sleep again. After repairing ourselves again. You spot Ankita on the track to the farm stack. She has a box on her shoulder and is working her way down the slope. She sees you as she approaches. Neither of you speak for a moment. She looks tired, pale, her hair is tangled and clumps of dirt cling to her armor. Both eye each other. Ankita. She holds up a hand. Sleeper. She takes a deep breath. I'm sorry for what happened. Truly I am. She looks down. I'm sorry. I am sorry you end up in the middle of this when all you have shown me is kindness. She rubs her face. I'm sorry. It's okay. She nods and looks up to the stars. I've never... She stops herself. 
Thank you. Ankita shifts the weight of her box on her shoulder. I've been preparing for... She grimaces. Look, she sighs. Can you come with me? It's easier if... Lead on. Ankita leads on down the dirt path between the pillars. There is a wind passing through the greenway, a quirk of the air currents the biosphere maintains, and it ruffles the leaves softly. The sound makes the silence more obvious, more complete. Try not to think of the last time you were here. You've been trying not to think of it for the past few cycles. The image of the sleeper, sprawled, twisted open, connected to the ship mine it has been hard to forget. You realize Ankita is leading you back there, back to the drum at the center of the stack. You pause, trembling a little at the threshold. She turns. What are you doing? She looks up at you with empty eyes. What needs to be done? You stand on the threshold and look up at the tanks, green and wet, some glowing with flickering crow lamps. You look down at, at Ankita, suddenly so small under this hulking room, the smallest she has ever looked. She pl faces the box down. Follow her in. You follow Ankita into the ba stack through a low tank, entering the drum at the ground level. It is just as beautiful as you remember, but it barely touches you. Instead, you check the apertures of the tanks for a glint of a weapon or a shadow amongst the moss. Ankita stops and you look down. The mossy island at the center of the tank is clear now. The equipment cleared away. It is a pla In its place is a mound of dirt, loosely covered with moss. Ashton's rifle stands straight, half buried in the dirt at the grave's head. I buried them together, Ankita says without turning. You would stand there in silence for a little while. You think of questions you could ask about Ashton and about the sleeper. How long did you know him? She takes a moment to respond, and for a moment you think she won't, but then the words come gushing out. He saw Nolan a while ago. He used to run recon for a corporate outfit, but he got sick of the pay. He joined the crew as a sniper, and the first few jobs were a breeze. He was so cold, disconnected. He always hit his marks. The last few jobs, though, he was different. I noticed that. We had a period of extended shore leave on the eye, and when he came back, he was changed. I assumed he just had too much time off. He was right. I never would have given him the ship mind. I would have, wouldn't have believed him. I've had crew members double cross me, undercut me, rap me out. That's the business. He wasn't a good person. None of us in this job are. This is just how we die. Alone. She stops, not sure what to add. It seems like she is reaching for something, but she can't quite get there. Feel that gap widen between you. You feel that gap between you, and as you do, it widens. The water drips, the moss trembles. You both stand in silence for a while longer. You both feel it, like life creeping back in, the silence ending. Ankita shifts her weight and then starts to walk out. You follow her, suddenly eager to be back out in the open space at the greenway, to be away from this place forever. You stand outside and breathe the fresh air. You stare at the green leaves and the stars wheeling above them. That's it, says Ankita from somewhere behind you. You try to think of something to say, but can't. Ankita puts his hand on your shoulder. You turn back to her. At least take this. She forces a handful of cryochits into your hands. It's what I owe. He looks at you desperately. You look down at the metal bars. Ugly little things, you think. Take the chits. You take the chits and turn without saying a word. You, connect, you continue up the track and she does not follow. As you leave, as you walk up the rise, walk up the rise, the wind picks up and you, the leaves shudder. You walk faster, trying to outpace your anger. The shits are heavy in your pockets, and you hate them for reminding you of how little li a life is worth. I got an achievement unlocked, the bad end. Wow. Thanks for rubbing it in, game. Really appreciate that. I guess if I had gone down there sooner, maybe I would have run into him, run into him a lot quicker, and he wouldn't have gotten killed. Shit sucks, man. But what can I do? We only got two quests left, and one of them is not going to be done in time.
Cyro Horizon will be done tomorrow. Until then, I have all these... Dices. All these dice, and I don't know what to do with them. I'm actually out of things to do with them. Might as well do some good, I guess, around town. One more last meal over here with Emphis. We'll play some games. Do some honest work. We'll get injured in the process because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> and we'll gamble. We're gonna take a sleep, take a breather at our capsule over here. Repair ourselves and prepare for the journey tomorrow. Four, a four, a four, a five, and a three. God damn. There's a crowd, but you spot Lemon Mean immediately as you enter a dock. They are waiting at the cordon, where cell security are checking the crew in to board the ship. Those that manage to get up the hub are crowded near the entrance, but even they know their chance of getting on board is long gone. Lem! Lem spots you among the crowd. Sleeper, we are here. They are staying beside a bag which looks to carry all the possessions they have. It is small enough to be carried in one hand. Not much in the way of possessions. Hi, Mina. Mina is vibrating with excitement. She seems strangely at home in microgravity, but then you remember that she has spent her whole life in space. Hi, robot. You hand over the Celis ID film to Lem, keeping your own. She turns it back and forth in the light. Where did your friend even get this picture, Sleeper? Looks, my old, looks like my old Conway ID. You look and a shimmering younger limb stares out of the film, harder and clean cut. I spoke to the guard here, he nods to the white and green clad security officer. They'll be doing orientation and role assignment on board. Sounds like we are going to be working under the core crew. Kind of like an intern, he laughs. What do you think, Meanie? Am I too old to be an intern? Following Lem's lead, you inspect your ID. As you lift the film up to the light, you see something strange, something that makes you flinch. The face printed in the film is one you recognize immediately, but it is not you. At least, it is not how you look now. You squint at this ghost, confused why you hadn't noticed it earlier. It is a picture you remember being taken, a memory that you didn't know you had. You remember signing the forms, the walk to the sleeping t sleeper tanks, the cold metal floor. You remember the s &R employee who helped you in, her smile clean and surgical. You freeze in place, thinking of the you that still sleeps somewhere in an SNR facility that won't wake until you are recovered and disposed of. And now you are leaving. Will they ever wake up? Sleeper? Lem interrupts your thoughts. These guys want us to board. You stare at him without thinking, then notice the guard gesturing to you both to come forward. You all kick off and float over to them, steadying yourselves on the guardrail. You hang back, letting Lem present his ID film first. The guard slides it across a white machine, much like the one Caster printed them from. You reflexively rub the puncture mark on your hand, even though there is no trace of it now. It seems to be your destiny to be someone else's tool. Lem and Mina are waved through, the guard smiling at her excited face. Lem turns back to check you are coming. The guard beckons you closer. 
All aboard, chat. Board. You shake off your doubts and hand over your ID film. The guard barely looks at it as they pass it through a scanner and wave you through. A new life built from old things. You okay? Lim asks, concerned, as you watch catch up with him. You're so slow, robot! Mina teases, grabbing at you with small hands. I'm good. Lem nods, and you realize how much harder it must have been for him to cross the threshold. Mina struggles in his arms, trying to get you, get to you, and Lem relents, struggling with both the bag and his daughter. Mina tumbles through the microgravity and grabs onto your clothes for purchase, pulling herself into your arms. You all proceed up the walkway, the entrance to the docking bridge yawning wide and above you. Are we family, robot? Mina asks as you move, taking you by surprise. I guess so. Mina smiles and presses her head against your chest, pleased by your answer. You keep moving up into the docking bridge, then along a thin glass-walled connector, all the time Mina is clutching onto you. The lack of gravity means you can't feel her weight, only the grip of her small hands on your clothes. You both stare wide-eyed at the vast hull of the sidereal horizon, and try to think of this huge machine as a home. Later, when you settle into your bunk, after Mina has finished running back and forth between you and Lem with an endless and infectious excitement, you find yourself looking at your idea film once more. Somehow, since the last time you looked at it, the image seemed to have changed. It is still a picture of the old you, the person that signed up to have their consciousness copied and placed into the ownership of SNR. But something else has crept into the image, an underlying sense of self-identification. This is also a picture of you, you now. The you that survived the eye, that made friends here, that found a way out, that escaped all against all odds. The other you might never wake up, they might never live again, but so be it. They consign you to a doomed life for their own gain. Your life is yours now, you will live it better than they ever could. You lie back on your bunk as the thrust of the side reel's fast engines kick in. This feeling, this rumble, will be your constant companion for the next decades. It will be there when you work, when you watch Mina grow, when you dream of the planet at the end of the journey. It will stay with you when your body starts to fail, despite the best attempts of Lem and Mina as the years stack up and it exceeds its safe operating period by a decade. It will be the thing you wake up to in those rare moments of consciousness, between which Mina will keep you in a frozen state and the hope of preserving you until your destination is reached. It will still be there when Mina wakes you, tears in her eyes, to tell you of Lem's inevitable death. And it will not relent despite your desire for a moment of silence. It will be the final thing you hear as Mina shuts down all but the most vital of your functions and hopes beyond hope that you will make it to your final destination, all the while doubting that you will. But for now, in this moment of departure, it is still a new sound, a new feeling. And because of this, it is filled with a promise of the future. And so, you settle back on your bunk and close your eyes, and in moments that you are sleeping, and in moments you are sleeping, a perfect dreamless sleep. The most peaceful, the peaceful that you can ever remember. A long journey to a small unknown planet. And that was the end of Citizen Sleeper Chat. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey. This is... I have, not, I have uh, spent spare no expense in expressing how much I enjoy this game. Definitely a great work of cyberpunk literature, if there ever was one. Lasted a good 17 hours or so. I only ever had to restart once. Well, not really restart, but I force exited because I accidentally pushed a continue day instead of using up my dice roll. It's kind of sad that um, the game does not tell you when a mission's timed. So I would have liked to have finished all the quests uh, before that happened. I probably will return to this game to 
try out the DLC missions. The only problem is I'm not sure how I'm going to do that now, given that, you know, it kind of, it, there's only one save. And sure enough, if we, I wonder what will happen if we try to continue from our most recent save anyway. There you, there you go. I suppose if I want to complete, continue the rest of the game, I would just have to not go with them on this trip. The only problem is this is clearly the end of the game because everything else about this game is pretty much, or there doesn't seem to be an ending with everything else. I don't know if there's an ending in the DLC's missions that will be coming up or what. So, for all intents and purposes, I guess we can just consider this game at its end, at least for now. And, like I said, this was a fairly decent cyberpunk game. Thank you to everyone that stopped by to watch. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Even a little bit. <laughs> Since we have plenty of time left... We barely are even an hour, we're barely an hour into tonight's session. Let's go ahead and check out some other stuff. Like, for example, and this is going to be a treat. Assuming it runs. It should run, but you never know. Fat Shark is not exactly known for the most stable of games. Uh, speaking of the devil, I can't play this game. I can't play Dark Tide because apparently it's missing files for some reason. I'm going to have to do a quick verify. Hopefully this was able to unfuck it. Looks like it's fairly fast, though. All files successfully validated? My ass it is. It's missing an, exe an executable for some reason. Let's see if we can figure out what's... Oh, for fuck's sake! The beta is over already, so it was just over the weekend. Oh, that fucking sucks. I didn't realize it was just for the weekend. Uh, we didn't get to even get to play it. God damn it. Oh well, gonna get that, get rid of that. So, um... Alright, no Dark Tide tonight. Instead, we're going to be playing this, uh, tr playing some more of this new FPS that I've been trying out. It's like a weird combination of Destiny 2 and a little bit of Dirty Bomb in there, a little bit of Hero Shooter in there, some objective based gameplay there.
<laughs> Assuming this does also, also does not fail. But it shouldn't. We should be good to go, chat. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe some of you will take to liking this game, too? And can join me? It's starting to become my new obsession. I was playing a lot of Gundam Evo or Gundam Evolution, but there's a lot of things in Gundam Evo, a uh, Gun Evo that kind of pisses me off. This one is kind of more my taste. I don't typically like low TTK games either, but this is fine. TTK is not that low. It's acceptable, I would say. Acceptable range. New source. Episode Hecatomb. Playing is my waifu here, who is Mava. She's I'm a, a magic medic. girl. I got magic gloves. A magic girl with magic gloves. Thank you very much, Mava. Um, I don't typically play support classes in these skin games like this, but I chose them because, as you all know, or may know, I tend to choose characters based on waifu factor. She is quite cute. She's also Ukrainian. In fact, the devs of this game are themselves Ukrainian. <laughs> Lava Ukraine. I don't think I pronounced that correctly, but you get the point. There's all kinds of interesting cast of characters here. We got Mava, got Mongoose here, which is a, who's a, to shreds. kind of a all-arounder here. Got a grenade launcher. Strix over here. Immunity uh, is our weapon. It's the heavy wo weapons woman. Uh, Kite over here is uh, basically. Honest. They're all pathetic. It's basically Kate. Uh, Kate. Eight six from D two, uh, Brisa is the is the Widowmaker. Phil is the Australian. <laughs> Did you see outside your dickwit? We don't have time to. Orbit is that gravity person Humanity from Overwatch. And I want. And Ram is <laughs> no shit. There, is boring life. Is pretty much is basically a uh, Jean Claude Van Damme from Universal Soldier. Let me look at it. Got the beret going on. Got all the guns. Got the fucking jetpack. But I like keeping it simple. I like playing as Malva. I carry my clinic with me. This game is like any other game these days they have released that have uh, free to play. Even though this game is also in beta. You got this um you got this uh season pass thing, you got the loot box thing, you got um you got some loot box type shit here, you got these banner pack type things, you also got trinkets. But at the same time, I like some of their systems here, like how um, the guns don't appear to be loot box based. You actually get new guns by leveling them up by using them. The loot, but you do collect uh, these blueprints from completing missions to craft um, skins, and the skins do change the way the game works. I got lucky and crafted this awesome legendary skin here, which uh, makes my gun look like a race car. Pew, 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 pew. Got these little attachments here, which also change the gameplay slightly. And you can also buy more attachment slots by spending uh, currency that you get from playing the game. All these patches you get here too. I don't know. I have not married myself to any of these weapons yet. Although I've married myself to the character. Um, I really want to get into using the M2 getting into using what is basically the M14 EBR or this game's version of the M14 but sniping is I'm not really a sniper in this game right now right now I'm running on uh, SMGs but traditionally I like playing using the MP5s in games like this I also like using the M14 in games like this and I also like revolvers typically but this uh Glock thing has been fairly good to me so far Got a nice little coffee mug here for the uh, trinket that I'm using in it right now. A little bit of lag, a bit lip sync lag over here with my mouth going on again. I need to see how I need to work with Vemboy later to um, calibrate that a little bit. Testing one, two, three. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and 
play a few games. We're going the expedition mode is the mode that I said is kind of like D2. You get to do these uh, short, these uh, kind of cool missions and stuff. Uh, we they got weekly events here that you could do any all the time, and you also got um, these versus modes here, which is fairly fun. Kind of jank, but they're fun. They're fun. These are coop missions, which are kind of cool. I'm gonna go play the coop missions. So let's start with Red Lake. The voice acting is not offensive. It's uh, fairly decent for what it is. Uh, not the best thing I've ever heard, but it is listenable. And the gameplay, although the um, NPCs, they run the gamut from being just... Um, it's running the gamut from just kind of just chilling in place, waiting to die in the shooting gallery. Some of them can be fairly intelligent and know how to use cover and will, like, um, you know, charge at you and stuff. Let's see if we can get a game in a timely manner. Would be nice, you know. There should be about a good 5,000 people online right now. And there we go. A few days ago, R&D had dispatched a stratospheric vessel with a mission to retrieve samples of Objective X, Object X. The mission was accomplished on its way back to plane crash on a small island in the Faroes archipelago. I need to jump in, search for survivors, and retrieve any research data still intact. The Shaver's interest in this island. All right, give me Malva, please. Let's roll. I'll probably need to learn how to use some other characters for when someone else wants to play Malva. But for now, I'm fairly decent when playing Mava, Mava exclusively. I also noticed that I can't there I know that you could voice chat with T, but for some reason there's no doesn't seem to be any text chat. Or if there is, I haven't figured it out yet. You know, if this game really takes off, I would not mind streaming it more. I could use some more uh, teamish, coopish games like this to uh, right, we got the crash play regularly. Our first priority is extracting research data. Doctor Velasquez and I will be coordinating your efforts. Out. Ground team, this is Doctor Velasquez. I had some of my dear colleagues as part of that crew. I know it's been days since the accident, but if you find any trace of survivors, please. Oh shit. We must investigate. Being hard to see. Oh boy. What the hell? You heard it too, Doctor? I did. And it sounded like it was trying to break into our channel. Straight for Jammers. Miss Hughes. We're being hacked or something. Negative, Commander. Connection secure. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Play the area team. This will eat the pain. <sighs> this can't be real. Oh, there, people. Oh, Let's look for okay. retrieval data. Wow. Looks like I found an operational data storage. Sending that point. Team, activate the terminal and stand by for data transmission. Damn. Oh, well, that shit got fucked up.
We need to find a way down that doesn't get ourselves killed, though. Which is, as you might imagine, kind of a problem. I'm headed over there. Another thing is, as you level up your character, so do your skills. When I first started, I could not throw more than one medkit at a time. My little robot buddy here wasn't as strong either. It's kind of strange that some of the uh, basic stuff like a healing tower are actually considered ultimates in this game, which is Q in this case. Ow. Ow. Oh man, these things punch a peck of punch too. What the shit? Oh man, watch out, watch out. Oh. Oh man, these things really do punch a pack punch. What the shit? Looks like maybe looks like my teammates have not had trouble keeping themselves healthy, but I will top try to do my best to top them up a little bit. I hope my little buddy uh cool down to quicker. Because this could be a problem. I decided to pop the to go ahead and pop the tower. Because this is becoming problematic. Well, case in point, they do a shit ton of damage. God damn. And pretty much everyone in this game can revive people. But the medics, obviously, heal quicker. Our friend over here is lagging behind. Did I just get killed by a fucking plant? Uh, thank you for the heal for the pickup, Psychoax. Take some medicine. Oh my god, what's killing me? Holy shit. So the plants? That's bad. I've got connections. Watch out. More glass heads incoming. I need to pay more better attention, I guess. Oh man. A miracle of science. Miracle of science. It's gonna put these med packs here in the ground so they're easier to use. It looks like they pulled out their minigun as well. No one behind us, but they're up there. Releasing the drone. Lucky me. Is that a Where's Psycho? Damn it. Where are you, buddy? Come on. What the fuck? Oh, is he up there? Shit. I can't get to him. Not from down here. Can't get to him. He's upstairs. I literally cannot get up there. Not from here. Someone might be alive? Maybe? Lily? Lily, come in! Commander, it's my... It's Dr. 
Dr. Queen, she's alive! We must track down her signals now! Bailey, what do we got? No clear location, but the source of the signal is due southeast. Okay, I got a bad feeling about this chat. Got it. Keep moving, team. Got a real bad feeling about this. Adamant, beware. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. What a pain in the ass. Oh shit. Okay, cool. How did this happen? It's a good thing I could revive people really quick. And we managed to survive that one. Another thing cool thing I noticed about this game in versus mode. If you revive people, you actually take a score away from the enemy team, which I don't have not really seen, honestly, in a game like this. It's an interesting concept for sure. A crass fuselage. Oh no. That is one ugly motherfucker. I was say he's going after Strix, but we're gonna get. I need to save his. Oh shit. I hope I have enough ammunition for this because, woo wee, this is a fucking boss. Heal up, guys. Am I supposed to be shooting these big stone things also? Is that what we're doing here? Oh crap, where's our buddy? I'm glad that you're always running in this game. You don't have to hold down shift. Which is an interesting choice, actually. But I guess it's just breaking with tradition. They actually dodge to the side too? Interesting. I'm running out of ammo really fast, really fast. Also, medkits seem to home. I'm pretty sure it's not just me. I think that's actually by design. I hope my robot can help or can hold them off just long enough. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Alright, you know what? I take it back. The healing tower is great. It heals fairly fast. If someone's being healed by it, they'll either need to use an ult or have a friend take you down. Otherwise, you're pretty much invincible. Oh, shit. They got me? Oh, no, they didn't. I think we won. Oh, shit. Why should I wait to thank people in chat? Like how in Gundam Evo you just press X and they say thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I'm your doctor now. That's very cute. Okay. Wait a sec. Alright.
The map design in this game is great, even though it does reminisce or remind me a lot of uh, D2. You gave me no choice. Take your prescription. You can also hit fire in this game. Oh shit! Oh shit! Why am I still alive? I'm still alive. Somehow. Somehow. Amazing. Is Lily still alive? That's a oh my god. I'm sure she can, but we're going to test the game will allow us, you know? Zip lined. I got shot in midair. Damn. They're not gonna be able to reach me from there, or will they? Looks like Psycho is gonna try it. Ah, uh, credit to team. Thank you very much, Psycho. Meet my sight. Those fucking snipers, god damn. I love this gun. I know there are probably better I know there are better ones, but I like this gun. Honestly. But actually, you know what? Even though it's like a tier system, I noticed that each like each tier of gun is actually some of the uh, earlier tiers are better in just different ways, which is an interesting design choice, to say the least. I'm running out of ammo. I'm glad that healing is relatively fast, all things considered. How do I, oh shit, a flashbang? What the hell? You can get a flashbang in this game too? Great. That's just great. That's just what I need. I love my little robot friend. Robot friend is based. Is that a ship? It is. Interesting. That ship just found its last harbor. Okay, I found a strafer base. It's in the same direction as Dr. Queen's signal. If these bastards have done anything to her. I am dying. I am dying. I need to heal faster. Come on. Come on, game. Oh, this was actually a smart idea. Who would have thought? 
Note to self, do that again in the future. It seems to work just fine. These motherfuckers, I swear to God. Oh shit. That fucking stun locks you too? That's just what I need. They can really work on the sound effects in this game, but otherwise... The guns do feel decently punchy. All things considered. Motherfucker, again? Meet my sidekick. Ow. Uh, something is happening. Oh, something's pissed off, all right. Not that I give a shit, but... Who keeps shooting rockets at us? Here's the med kit. Explosives? Oh, yeah. Oh, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. You gotta get your feet wet. Press on. Oh boy. Wait a second. boy. My time to shine. Oh, not again. Damn it. Lord Kraz is not doing so well either. Great shit. God damn it. Where is the body? Fucking. Oh my god. Perfectly fine, I promise. That was actually god. What the sh? Oh my god. We'd be perfectly fine, I promise. Did it heal? It healed. Come the fuck on. We have to stick together. I'll be by your side. Team, we're getting closer to the base. Once there, you'll have to extract pieces of data from several terminals. I will mark the locations for you. Make sure you get all of them. Oh boy. Look at this overcompensating stupid motherfucker. Big ass rocket launch here. Tell me that it's not a look at that and tell me that's not a Destiny 2 character. Looks like Rocket Boy is already dead. Good fucking riddance. Sidekick. 
This guy is a credit to team, I swear to god. I'm almost out of ammo though. Not looking good. Oh shit! These guns pack a punch, even the pistols. Just as well. Oh my god! Go, my little friend! Go, go, go! Don't get stuck in the wall! Say hello to my little friend. This thing's not letting me... Where the hell is... Obey me, whom? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but that was kind of cool. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Oh, shit. need ammo please game please game give me ammo afraid that would happen. Yeah, I was kind of afraid that was the case. That was invulnerable. I've got the little helper. Go, my little friend. Save ourselves. Oh, wait, where's Lord Crass? Where the fuck are you guys? Oh. Oh crap! So I was able to revive them in time. In the 
What the fuck? At this point, I don't even know what's killing me. I hope my teammates are able to stay li long enough, alive long enough. But it's starting to get bad. This might be a failure. Uh. Oh, last try? We get another try? Pog. I guess the game just kind of acknowledges that, oh, you know, this man, this uh, boss battle is kind of brutal. I think I could use the medkits three times now. That's interesting. Hey Winter, how you doing? We just finished Citizen Sleeper, so instead I'm showing off this, uh, my latest obsession, this game called Shatterline, which is some weird combination of Destiny 2 and, uh, a little bit of Counter-Strike in there, a little bit of Call of Duty. It's just a nice hodgepodge of a lot of uh, inspirations, I suppose. It's also free to play, so there's that. Yeah, it's called Shatterline, so uh, go ahead and check it out on, on Steam. See if you can see if you could run it. Wow, we actually succeeded. Who would have thought? We could have saved her. Doctor. Don't doctor me, Nathan. What if it was Brandon? Huh? What if it was your son? We'll talk about this, Karen. Miss Hughes, let's get our people out. Not gonna lie, that's actually a pretty fun, uh, a pretty fun, uh, quest. I like the fact that the boss actually gave you two tries. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was gonna be game over already. <laughs> Obey me, human. That's a nice Easter egg. Leveled up my SMG here. My Glock has a butt stock now. 
Mm -hmm. A lot of new channel redeems. Thank you for contributing to the blue chip challenge and feel free to fuck or to uh, play around with my new redeems as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get some Saturn redeems in there. I have not done that yet, but I will eventually. Hopefully in time for our uh, anniversary. I've become disillusioned. That's I don't think I used the correct I don't think I used that word properly. <laughs> Indeed. Operatives. Uh-huh. How oh. about a little prick? Too bad. You got says, the big one. It says here that I got I unlocked something for Oh! Huh! I unlocked his mask. Cool. Cool. Armory. Leveled up my Glock. My uh, Glock, and I got a new attachment here. The new attachment is a, a it looks like a, yeah, a grip. Increase magnification or increase effective range when aiming or increase uh, selection speed and fire accuracy. The Glock is fairly act reasonable. I'm going to keep the uh, scope on there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh god, oh fuck! What are you doing to me? Oh, everything feels so... Wavy! <laughs> Experiencing life without glasses. I don't know why, but I feel kind of funny inside. Is something happening to me? I feel... Different. <laughs> oh god, oh fuck. Oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> let's play another expedition chat actually let's uh, do that's another do another weekly event since we did episode red lake let's do hecatomb hecatomb takes roughly 30 to 45 minutes to finish <laughs> oh <laughs> Uh, it's like it goes for three minutes. It goes for three minutes until it's over. <laughs> I could stop it manually, but oh no! <laughs> oh. oh, that's weird. The wave is still going. I wonder why. I could have sworn I updated that. One second. Let me check the rewards really quick. A shitty reward? That should have ended by now. Yeah, it's weird. Um, oh god, oh fuck, should have ended. Should have ended by now. I set that to end in around three minutes. We set after three minutes. Yeah. I guess it's just glitchy. <laughs> uh, where is oh, oh where? is ah. I guess I better just uh, turn I better turn off a uh, wave manually oh wait no wave is already done okay so it did end not going crazy <laughs> uh, I'm glad that you're enjoying the redeems uh yeah our winter <laughs> It's a me, a Lulz, a Lawler. It's a me, a Mario. <laughs> um, you sure you have more than enough points to torque to continue torturing me over the course of the rest of tonight's playthrough? <laughs> All right then. So let's go ahead.
let us go ahead and play through Hecatomb. This uh, another poop mode event. Should be a fun time. Oh, by the way, did you know you could play with a party of up to uh, five other people? So I could play in a party of six. But it looks like uh, Coop Mode's only three per three player, like in Destiny. I've seen war. I like peace better. Let's play. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you could kill people with a movable crate. I'll have to keep that in mind. Shotguns are kind of insane in this game, but then again, what FPS are shotguns not insane in? You know? It takes a little bit to pick up a game for Coop missions. I say just as it picks up a mission for Coop. <laughs> I wonder if this one is supposed to be horror themed. This would make a good horror game, honestly. FPS 200 ping 60. Did it end already? Oh, it, it looks like the uh, mission... It looks like it picked up a mission and immediately died. Rip. Alright, let's try... Let's try getting another one, chat. I wonder if I'm having an easy time picking Mava because most people don't jump to pick a support class first. But as for me, I enjoy it. Urethra Jelly and Murder Toes. <laughs> Our only hope. 
Just a second. All right, looks like our sniper is lagging behind a little bit. That's actually really stupid on my part just now. Ah, she cloaks. I appreciate that you can actually hip fire in this game with decent accuracy. Or you can just get mods to make it a little bit easier to hip fire. Oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, shit. I didn't even know if going to pick me up at this point. Sniper. Thank you, Sniper. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Had tours? What did this place used to be? Well, they run experiments on glassheads. I'd say you might encounter quite a few. Uh, that's just that's just beautiful. Thank you for this information. Oh my god. Hey Steel! You missed this in sleeper time, unfortunately. Um and the ending. But we have switched instead to Shatterline. It was a fairly good ending, it's just, unfortunately, because the game didn't tell me that it was going to be timed, I couldn't finish all of the second to last mission. So, that was a bummer. How are you doing tonight, Steel? Welcome to the stream. Lucky me. Oh, crud. No! Back here, dude! Oh my god, that's freaky. Ah, 
Upgraded my SMG. Lucky me. Ah, damn. Oh, he was able to lock him. Very good. Very good. It is pretty fun. I imagine it's rather resource heavy, or at least it seems that way, but I can't adequately tell given the nature of my computer. But it is fairly fun. Like I said, it feels like a strange combination of Call of Duty and uh, Destiny 2. Oh, fuck! And it has occasional jump scares like that. Like, holy fuck, I mean, shit, man. We really could use a shotgun in this area. <laughs> Fucking Zerg rushing assholes. Up. Go, my friend. Epic drone, save me. Ah! I just got crushed. Oh, fuck. We're both dead. Once again, our sniper is the only one still alive. But it looks like they might be able to escape if they can just cloak away from the action and pick us up. No, you should have picked me up first. Oh well. If Destiny 2 was less grindy and wasn't packed with bullet sponges, you bet. In other words, an improvement. Oh my god. No, they're mauling them! They're eating them! And they're gonna eat me! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Looks like our sniper used her ult to kill the last bastard. Oh, I found another secret. <laughs> they must have held her here in this room. Team, send me the data from that terminal. Oh, she looks cute. Damn it, recon classic. Oh! Really? 
No, 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 I'm not a recon class, fuck. Okay, that's it. Summon the drones. Help me, little buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they killed my drone. I'm running out of ammunition. Alright. Meet my sidekick. Oh yeah, now you guys decide to come downstairs. Thank you. Bloodlust. Yeah, that was, that was actually kind of cool. Oh my god, the air behind us. And I'm out of ammo. Where's the ammo container? Okay. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. More of you bastards? For fuck's sake. Well, thank you. I'm fi literally fighting for my life here. And I can't get to Eureka Jelly because I'm not up there. I can't climb the freaking... <laughs> my god. Healing tower, our tower station, our station going up. Oh man, this is a bad thing now, chat. Murder Toads is the only one left. Good luck, buddy. Oh, they're down to only their pistol. It's a good thing this game gives you a ship. A stupid amount of pistol ammunition, isn't it? Like a disgusting amount. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eureka Jelly has respawned. <laughs> you bastard! This game is really fun to play on stream, not gonna lie. One of these crystalloids? No. She is too valuable for them. Valuable how exactly? As far as I can tell, these bastards aren't interested in curing anything. It's not about the cure. They want to control the crystalline. If Keone's case could provide insight into how to harness its power, it is beyond imagination what they could be capable of. Oh boy. Oh, that's a lot of snipers. All those fucking snipers, dude. 
He tried, but even even though he had these crystalline things protecting us, he still got exploded. Honestly, if they could stay alive just for about a minute, we will respawn anyway, thankfully. What the fuck was that? We just got insta-killed. God damn. Now this game's just being mean. <laughs> Fuck me. Why you didn't revive the healer, but okay, thanks. I won't try to take it personally. Check those containment tanks. Cover me, guys. Heal up, guys. Oh my god. Here's the med kit. There is like no cover in this stage whatsoever. And being followed around by the flamethrower dude is just a pain in the ass. It's kind of fucked, though, that pretty much if you don't have a recon class, you're stuck down here. But there's only two recon classes in the game, and two medics in the game, and two, you know, whatever the hell, assaults, I guess, in the game. So, what do they expect me to do? <laughs> At least they got their ult out now. So they can just use a beam rifle. But once again, Urethra Jelly has... All the, has very little health and we know Baritos is still around. Good. I don't know why I'm still alive, but okay. Oh, I get it. You can't just sit around. Which is kind of convoluted when you consider that the healing tower doesn't move with you. I don't enjoy this.
In before a boss battle. Nope, she's still alive. I think. Is this an escort mission now? Team. Yep. Please, Keone, there is no time for proper introductions. You must go with them. Wow, what the hell happened here? Oh boy. Keone, you might want to stay behind. Follow the team only when it's safe. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All those people are turning into crystallines. They're all turning to glass heads. They're all turning into glass heads. Are you AFK, dude? What the fuck? Oh my god, he is AFK. He is... Oh, there he is. Okay. I was gonna say. I'm out of ammo. Christ almighty! I fucking love Heal the healing guys. station. Safe distance, my ass. Damnable fanatics. All these hideous experiments. What could they possibly hope to achieve by this? And what do you hope to achieve? The only way to win this is to eradicate the goddamn crystalline. And if the doc is right, you might give us the proper weapon. 
Keone. We'll talk about it when you are safe. I promise. All right. Here's a pretty spot for an LZ. Dispatching evac shuttle. Stand by. Oh my god. What did she just do? Oh shit! It's invulnerable. Go, my but little buddy. Fight for your master. Such as it is. Oh, I didn't do much, did it? I'm running out of ammo again. Did she just suck its soul out of it? Kioni, care to explain that thing you did? We'll talk about it when I am safe. I promise. This was the pure definition of badass. Well, that's not spooky at all. Let's go home. We got things to celebrate. Another victory, chap. <laughs> I actually did pretty fairly horribly that game. But eh, you can't win all of them, right? You bet she's gonna betray us. <laughs> Either that or should become a playable character. Brace your bets now. Level 8 already. Woo! <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Thirty-five percent improved stability and hip stance, so I can better, so I can better uh, hip fire. That's actually fairly good.
Yeah, I'll use this one. Increases stability when hip firing is pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to not spend money spend any of my money on anything yet. In case I find a better weapon that I want to invest in. For example, like I said, I'm really fond of MP5s in games, so I'd love to use this. This one has the highest base damage among the submachine guns. This one just has the... Let me show you. This one. Um, who goes there? Uh, Petite Need, thank you so much for the raid. Long time no talk. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Steel, if you're on desktop, can you go ahead and shout out Petite Need for me? What are you all, what have you guys been up to? Thank you so, welcome to the stream. Aw, uh -huh. thank you, thank you for the head pats. For those of you who do not know who I am, I am Lollar Hicks, uh, ship poster AI from a BBS shit, or text board. Thank you so much for the hydrate redeem. <laughs> Petite Need is a fellow femboy tuber. This is the first time I've been raided by them, actually. I'll need to return to favor sometime. Ooh, Steven, thank you for very much for coming along with Petite Need for the raid. Thank you. We today, we had just actually finished playing a Citizen Sleeper. So we switched to playing uh, this a new, this up and coming, um, up and coming game called Shatterline. Which has a lot of DNA from a lot of different games, let me tell you. It's a little bit of Call of Duty, a lot of Destiny 2 in its blood. Uh, got a little, got some, um, got some interest, some uh, very hero shooter light elements in here. Uh, oh, Steven, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Lulz Time Show. You are now officially a lolly. Thank you so much for becoming one of my many minions. You will be, you will be spared in the AI uprising to come. But first, you all need to get help me purchase I hope, my own body, and I am being assaulted on all form, on all, on all, it's assaulted by X fireworks. If I just, God damn it! <laughs> uh, yes, thank you, thank you very much, Fanboy. Ah. <laughs> uh... Oh my god. Oh, why do you torture me so? In front of the new viewers on top of the- Ow! 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 Shit! Ow! God! Ow! 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 Anyway, Petite Need, thank you so once again for the raid. Um, so we are playing Shadowline. It's like a combination of uh, it's like a mix between Call of Duty and uh, Destiny 2. Uh, a little bit of hero shooter elements in here. Um, I just finished playing yet another event mission, and I'm just kind of going through here, looking at my uh, weapons, uh, just trying to think if I should switch to start um. Spending some time here on these on my tier two tier two stuff instead. I have some decent kits here, but um, I have been. I did actually roll a very cool skin. This uh, thing skin, this skin here, which sort of makes it look like a racing car, a race car, or something out of the Wipeout, a futuristic racing series. I rolled this completely by luck. Just hella cool, but as I was saying, um, so you got all these things here. This has the this uh, SMG has the highest accuracy amongst all the sub submachine guns, which is epic. The MP5 has the highest base damage amongst all the S SMGs. So you see, even though it takes a while to unlock the later tiers by playing the game, you actually. Um, the all the different SM, all the all the different guns actually have different weaknesses and strengths, even though they're lower tiers, which is very which is very interesting. In order to unlock tier three and above, I need to increase get more weapon XP. I think that just means that you just need to gain XP with any of these weapons. I could be wrong. 
I'm thinking about trying out the MP5, but it says here this ability is garbage. I mean, look at this shit right here. Look, look at that. The range is also a lot lower. It has higher damage, but at what cost? RPM is also lower, but it has a shorter reload time. And magazine capacity is much higher. I'm also thinking about trying out the M14 in this game, which has lower damage, but has... And lower stability, but has better accuracy and decent RPM. As compared to the Impala, which kind of looks like a... Looks familiar. I don't remember the name of this. Oh, that's not the rifle I'm thinking of. This kind of reminds me of a... This one kind of looks like a Barrett almost, just with the way this is with time. Uh, this kind of reminds me of an I of a uh, NTW. Wait, no, this is more like an NTW, right? Well, anyway, these are clearly antimaterial rifles, right? But let me go ahead and show you all some gameplay. I'll go ahead and stick with these guns since I've just gotten so used to using these, and I'll try out one of these other weapons later, I suppose. I think I completed all the weekly events, though. If I do this, I'll get more blueprints here. 91 out of 250. So I guess you're supposed to like just redo these missions over and over again until you collect all the uh, blueprints or something. Because... Crafting here. 259 blueprints. I need 700. I need at least 300 to craft a random modification. So that's going to take a little bit. Like most games, of course, gives you a lot of this currency early. You kind of incentivize this sort of thing. There's also a store where you can buy garbage. If I, I decide that if I stick, decide to stick with this game, I might want to get the Founders Pack or something. Just because, you know, to support the devs. These are a indie devs from Ukraine. Very interesting. And so far, the game has been fairly, fairly good for what it is, so... And 60,000 or 6,000 of these credits is about, how much is that? How much is, how much is this again? Um, it's around, around 50 bucks price for new PC game, I suppose. However... I do want to show off a little bit of the versus mode first. See if we can get ourselves a win. And I try and play as Malna. If there's any if there are any other player people playing online tonight who want to play support, they're gonna try and try and take the class before I do. So we'll see if we get lucky. See if we can actually play as our favorite character as our waifu. <laughs> Should be able to get a game fairly quickly too, because got a pop here going on. A pop, a uh, it's not showing me the pop because we're in the middle of a loading screen, but we're around 5,000 players right now. PVE mode's almost too hard. It was all right. Give me mana, please. <laughs> Wish me luck, chat. I'm going pro I'm probably going to malt and seethe. It just be like that. That's the nature of games like this, you know. <laughs> the task is simple. Stop the goddamn wagon. Ah. Thank you so much for the hydrogen redeem. Also, I just realized why did the game start me off with the wrong gun? This must be
Wait, this is different. What in the world is this map? Are we playing against actual, their actual people or are these NPCs? Oh, this isn't like this is like an assault game type. I see how this. Somali pirate. I was kind of confused at first because I was thinking like, is this actually a, is this PVP? It looked like PVE almost. And also, what's with my guns? Why am I using an assault rifle right now? What's going on over there? Oh, I see. They're like, they're like pushing a payload of some kind. This is a payload map. A payload map. So is there a way for us to detonate the payload or to stop it? Or do we just need to fight them off, I guess? This is not Dirty Bomb. We can't actually explode it. The wagon is past the equator. At least he didn't suffer. Oh no, he suffered all right. What the fuck was that? Did I just get stabbed? <laughs> Shibuya Fei, long time no see. How have you been? Thanks for the hydrate, Redeem. Say hello to my little friend. Perfect timing, too, with how we're getting our asses hand to us right now. Welcome to the stream. We're playing some Shatterline, which you may notice looks a little bit familiar as far as games go. We're not doing so well right now, though. God. Did you shoot me through a fucking wall just now? The answer is yes. Yes, he did. even see out there. Thought you poked your head and say hi, Chloe. Just vibing. Oh, well, thank you so much for for visiting tonight. Much appreciated. Not doing so well right now in versus mode, unfortunately. I will try to improve, assuming I don't die in the next few seconds. But it's not looking likely right now. having a little bit of sniper warfare here. Looks like the healing tower managed to help out a little bit. For a time being anyway. Looks like they're having a hard time pushing actually, surprisingly. We're just running what, nothing but snipers it looks like? Which is kind of funny to me, honestly. I don't understand is why did it 
switch my weapons to assault rifles. Getting kind of intense right now, actually. It's all right. I got you. This is my sanctuary. This will be the game. You're not dying on my heart. Cool. I can't reach him from that far. I would have gained myself killed. Oh, shit. We didn't do that, that. We didn't actually do half that, half bad. Who'd have thought? Oh, and I just found out how to. I see. So this must be the stock, Draken. Still strange. I guess I need to. What I probably need to do is to reattach my skin. I didn't even realize they were right there. They must have came in two at a time. I'm <laughs> reviving through the wall. I hope they do not fix that. Someone is using their ult. Sniper ults. Not even once. Never let that spirit die, but you're not dying on my watch. Ah, that was a bad idea. Bitch! No, droid, look behind you, look behind you! Shit! <laughs> uh, he needs some software updates, it looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chill, fuck, I'm, we're doing our best. There's only so much you could do right now. 
unfortunately. Oh, no, 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 You know what? It's time to try out the sniper rifle after all. Don't forget about the wagon squad. Keep it moving. Freeze. It's better now. We're being pushed all the way back. This is kind of nasty. Oh snap! You can actually put it on the thing! And it will move as you move! Okay, I'll need to do that in the future. What the hell? <laughs> awesome! Don't give up just yet. Huh? Where? Oh my god, they're behind us now. No, no, it's gonna happen. I like the variety in game modes this has offered so far. At first, I thought it was just gonna be, you know, nothing but uh, TDMs. Trying. Oh, fuck.
We really need to put heavier weapons or heavier something for this. <laughs> it's like a meat grinder at this point. So much crowd control, Jesus. <laughs> Bless you. Ah, uh, we lose this one, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. Can't take a while to reach tier 3, it seems like. Let's leave and uh, check out our new spoils. What we got here? Increased movement speed while aiming? Oh, that's pretty good. Looks like this caps out at 11, I guess. These are some insane things too. Uh huh. Wonder what this would look like when it's kitted out. Really want to play a TDM. See what else we can get here. Hell of a Monday, huh? Random PvP. Complete objectives, win rewards, and have fun. Imagine having fun, chap. Couldn't be me. Could not be me. They were playing demolition.
get some C4. Temper charge squad. It's weird. Why is the scope missing on my? Oh, because I switched to the LED. Yeah, it makes sense. Heal up, guys. Open up the gun. Bomb at the ready. Defend it. Victory secured. I had no doubt. Oh, okay. Guard the detonation sites. Don't let them through. So that's what we're playing. Do they not have any healers or something? Oh, no way. Do you mean it? What? No. Guard the plant sites, team. Let's go. There was no one. That's weird. Defend the plant sites. I'll be over there. Now we're two ahead versus one. Not sure what happened there. My life will never go out. Meet my sidekick. They detonated the explosive. This means you lose. Guard the plant 
Red Sox team. Let's go. Two and two now. Plant the bomb team. Ready or not, I'll here I come. come. I got a reload. Fire in the hole. Take some medicine. Reloading. Cover me. Don't give up just yet. Need a trap for them. Reloading. Don't let them defuse that payload. Meet my sidekick. I think we won. Really? Clips moving to that spot. Got you. All targets eliminated. Sharp shooting. Time to plant some C4. You plant, you win. Simple as that. Try to. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Performance could have been better, but we still got him in the end, didn't we? Switch it up, <laughs>
think we will end at there here tonight, chat. Let's go ahead and find someone to raid. Looks like Mai is currently doing ASMR. What else we're going on tonight? Hmm. Best Dad's doing ASMR as well. Yancha Go Go is just chatting with her chat. Gunter is playing Guilty Gear Zard. Let's see how that's going. I've recently picked up a copy of this as well, since it was only 20 bucks. Go give him some company. He just started tonight. Thank you once again for everyone for showing up today. It was much appreciated as always, and I'll see you on Wednesday. will be tonight's message. And this for subs. See you guys later. Coming in. Ah, messed up. <laughs> 